Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. I'm Corinne Braxton, and today is July 12th, and I'm I'm coming to you from Bozeman, Montana, and I'm feeling a lot better since last week. Um, I've had quite a bout since I've had COVID. Let me see if I can find myself on my iPad here and see who's coming, going to be first to find us. I was a bit late today. I, uh, I forgot to get my laptop. It was charging in the bathroom. There we go. Um, oh, Linda Wilmuth. Hey, good to see you, Linda, this morning. And, um, anyway, I was, I was really productive this last, you know, sometimes before I do a Facebook Live, I'm not very productive because I'm just sort of waiting for that time to come. And today I was stamping and I was doing, making some cards and I was charging my iPad and doing all these different things. And, um, anyway, I am feeling much better. I've had quite a bout with, I had bronch, after COVID, then I got bronchitis, then I had all these strong antibiotics and these antibiotics. I've never taken two antibiotics at one time. And boy, they really did, they were really hard on me. Anyway, um, I can see I forgot to put lipstick on too. I was really missing out on all kinds of things this morning. Anyway, I have two fun projects for you this morning. And, um, so, oh, it's, you know, obviously we know it's celebration time and the mini catalog is, things are starting. There are a few things that have gone on back order. Just noticed that today. So, you know, if you want some things for Christmas, be sure you take a look, get the things that you want now during celebration. And um, because it's really a great time of year during celebration, you get to choose every time you make a purchase of fifty dollars. You always want to remember that fifty dollar increment. You get to choose a few a free pro a product. And for example, this in today we're going to be using the stylish sketches in both of our cards. Here's another one: free envelopes and cards. They're beautiful. Um, here's a I worked with some of those yesterday. Really fun. They're just beautiful cards. Beautiful envelopes. You can sort of see that's a. You get 20 cards, 20 envelopes, all scored, cut, everything. Um, and then there are some items that are, if you make a $100 purchase, then you can choose something like this one. We're going to be using this amazing phrases today. There are lots of combo stamps. Um, one of my all-time favorites is this tree lots dies. Oh, my goodness. I've had more fun with that one. And um, anyway, those are our projects. And... Let's get going and turn your, uh, close your eyes for a second while I turn the camera down. There we go. You know, I was supposed to go to Wisconsin this week to see my mom and family and I was just really hoping I could go, but Terry said, absolutely not. Um, he just said, oh, not the way I was coughing and some of the other problems I was having. Okay, you can hear, you can see these, um, the cards with the, this is called, um, I don't know what that's called, that leaf stamp. Um, I don't know, can't remember. It's in the mini catalog, really like it. I'm going to show you how to do some things with that maybe in a week or two. Here's a card I worked on yesterday. I really wanted to do this for your Facebook Live and I just couldn't get it to, I'm not ha real happy with the card. I struggled with it. I really was working. I love this camper. Looks like a little Airstream, doesn't it? I got some vellum and curtains in the windows there. And this is the Mountaineer stamp. And I really like that stamp. And I really wanted to put the camper in there for, um, it's okay. It's not, it's not a great card. I, it's an okay card. And um, anyway, um, I, I sort of wanted to copy that glue, but I couldn't, couldn't quite get, make it work for today's um, Facebook Live. So we will see. Let's go. Let's move our things out of the way. And I see if I can see any comments here. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see what's here. Um, cannot see any comments. So maybe, I don't know. Today we're going to work on... We're going to work with two stamps, the Amazing Phrases, and the other one is, where did I put it? I just had it right here. 
in front of me. Um, oh, here it is. Stylish sketches and amazing phrases. And, oh, there's Kathy Wilkerson. Good morning to you. Um, so these, this is what we're going to use. So when I first saw this in the celebration, I thought, you know, I really am not too wild about the fox. I love mallard ducks, and I'm not sure what this is. I think it's some like seedlings and some leaves, but anyway, it and I wasn't, it was my least favorite. Anyway, I ordered it because I order a lot of things and I get a lot of free things and I, I forced myself to make a cart with it and I did a swap card and with this and that is, we're going to do that one today and that's this one like this. I'm going to show you how to do that and I really sort of fell in love with the stamp. So then I thought, well, I'm going to do this one. So we're going to do this one and this one. I've not done the fox. Um, here are some other swap cards that I had. Here's one with that fox. To another year, and then it could say around the sun for happy birthday. So there's a sort of a red fox. I really like this one. That one was, uh, let me see who did that one. Lori Krauss did that. I'm so thankful for you. It's really a nice, she watercolored this. This one is um, a gal named Susu Sisterhood, Suzanne Taylor. But do you see what she did? She put that little stitching around with that dye we have. I don't know what it's called. But then she just watercolored that. It's really pretty on vanilla. And then this one, um, this one is by... Rumi Rad Romanski, and I thought, what is that? And where is that stamp? And then I realized, oh, it was from Celebration. Looks like it's going to look. This dotted paper. Hey, Martina, thank you. Jana, Jan, good to see you too. Do you see this little dotted silver paper? Well, that is a freebie too. And here she has sponged that with some like mint or some olive or something. Nice little card, very easy. All very easy cards. And uh, so we're gonna do one today. The first one, I actually saw this, but I I don't know who did it and I can't give them credit. But um, anyway, I thought it was a pretty neat idea. I love this paper. This paper is part of the rings of the free paper. Let me see, show you in the catalog. It's one of my, it's my favorite paper. There are two papers. That, there's actually three. It's this paper, Rings of Love, designer paper. It looks quite busy on one side. The other side is very neutral. You'll see that as I make cards today. So we're going to use this, this little uh, fall one. I love the house. I've done that before. I love every, I really just love that whole paper. And it's a, it's a great 12 by 12 set. So this is what we're going to make. And it's a Z fold card. And we're going to do some going to do some things with that and we're using the stitch dies here all of this is in vanilla with the vanilla background so we're going to take out our supplies we're going to use some little embellishment uh, metals at the end and we're going to take get my pieces together here okay here we have five and a half by eight and a half and this is going to be let me see if I can zoom in here sorry uh, hey Carla good to see you too uh, this is five and a half by eight and a half just a regular card that we fold in half four and a quarter four and a quarter and then I just have this memorized anytime I because I do a lot of Z folds so four and a quarter is half of that and then to turn it back we're gonna go two and an eighth. So on this one, I just take my trimmer and I go two and one eighth. So I go one eighth right there. And if I'm only doing one card like this, I just use my trimmer for scoring and I fold it back like that. If I'm using, if I'm doing more than one card, I always get my Simply Scoreboard. So now I'm gonna, so here we have it, five and a half by eight and a half. There's our card, and it's about it's just that easy. And now we're going to take uh, a 
brown espresso, not brown. It's espresso, early espresso. And it's one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. And then that's for our, our brown and our leaves, one and three fourths by five. And I just did little increments like that. I just, you know, measured it and made it up. And um, let me see if I can find my simply sealed. There we go. And you do want to make sure your acorns are going the right direction. It's going to be just a skinny, skinny. I'm going to, I'm going to have to sit down here uh, so I can get my head a little closer to it. Um, it's a little skinny. Oh, something's wrong right there, but we'll just cut it off. I think I, I need it to be, the, the DSP needed to be a little longer, but it's okay. We'll make it work. And we will get my little silicone mat out. There we go. We're going to put it right here. It's a little shorter than it should be, but it's not bad. It'll still work just fine. And now we're going to um, put a vanilla. Let's envelope. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like I forgot the vanilla. Let me grab one out of my drawer. I have bases, white and vanilla, all cut. And um, looks like I had forgotten one. I love this little, my little room here is, it's so handy. All I have to do is turn around and I can reach into a drawer and things. This is my mat. It's four inches by five and a quarter. And my old, at my old house, I, you know, I was walking across the room. It was actually great, but um, I'm saying this room is so tiny I can barely turn around without bumping things, And uh, but it's very handy. So there's our Z Fold card, and now we have to put our, do some stamping. I have a little um, espresso brown, three by three. That's our square, and then this is a stitched this is for our stamp. We're going to we're going to stamp on that and we will get our envelope out too so that I don't forget to stamp it because you know I do that a lot. I forget I'm talking and trying to remember how to do everything and talk at the same time. So, oh, here we go with the black ink again. Let me see if I can just wipe it off before I start making a mess. Oh my goodness. Sometimes it, um, it, okay, I'm going to try really hard. Okay, we will stamp our, this one is going to be the leaves, and so we're going to, the leaves and berries, sort of, it looks like it almost could be, um, and do you see how sketchy it looks? It has those little etching marks, just like that, like an artist, like a, a pencil with, with pencils. Um, like that. Okay, and now we will stamp our, I'll just um, do it like this so you can see. But it's really, really like this etching stamp. The artists do everything for us. I'm going to stamp it up a little high, higher. I'm going to put it, um, oh, I think I'll do it like this. I'm going to leave a space at the bottom. I'm going to bring in my chamois and um, clean that off. I want to bring in my words. Um, let's see once. I will use So Sorry. This is from the... I love how you can do different things. You can say, woohoo, you're amazing. Or, oops, so sorry. Or you can say... Uh, to another year around the sun, or you've got this, looking good, um, I miss you, you did it, yay, right there's the yay, oops, so we're going to use the so sorry, because that could be used for then a, uh, like a sympathy or um, healing, get well, so sorry you're sick, there we go, I think that's a nice, nice one for that. I'm going to put my black ink right over there so I don't get my cards in it. 
And let's see once now we're going to, uh, hey, Bev, Becky, Becky up in Alaska. Good to see you this morning. Oh my goodness, good, I'm glad you caught us. I'm gonna color now, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna to have to remember then later to zoom out again. Um, and I'm needing to put my, uh, my little, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put this, I'll mount this, and then that way you'll, you'll be able to see it as uh, it's outlined there. I hope you've got, you, some of you have gotten this um, amazing phrases set. It's very versatile. It's a hundred dollars set. You have to spend a hundred dollar purchase of anything, any catalogs, and then you get that one free. Um, but it's a, it's a good one. First, I wasn't sure about it. Um, <laughs> obviously I've been saying that a lot and some things, you know, you just fall in love with instantly. Other things you have to sort of play with. Okay. So now I've got, um, some, blends out here just I pulled some that I thought would be good and let's see what's here nice and straight and I've got a little cheat sheet I always take a a sample like this is vanilla cardstock and that way I can sort of tell what I want to use um and I want to add some oh I like I want to add some of this the reddish color and this one is real red light and I'm just going to I'm just going to add a little bit in various places not the whole thing just a little bit of a touch of red on some of these leaves because it has some in the paper too they have look like oak leaves do you see these oaks right there oh um Anyway, that looks good. Now we're going to add some yellow. Let's see, I have two yellows out here. One is Mango Melody. I love using Mango Melody and Dark Daffodil. We'll just try a little bit of each. And um, I don't know, we're just sort of coloring in. And it's okay if you leave a little bit of white space too. It doesn't make any difference. That really, an artist, a watercolor artist, they actually do leave some white space and um let's see that was the uh, and i'm going to add a little bit of just see how that oh uh, no, we can't tell much difference there and now we're going to add some of these orange um crajan crajan uh calypso coral and cajun craze are really good colors for fall you know i really wasn't i didn't really want to do a fall card we've had so little summer we've just started having summer here in montana and uh there we go, it's a nice Calypso coral. Maybe a little, add a little bit of that into the leaves too. And, whoops, I got one out, the lines there. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of, I went out majorly. So remember when you go out, you know, I'm gonna take my lifter, my color lifter, and I'm gonna push it back in like that. Do you see how it's going back? It's almost, it's wet yet. And now that's gone. I love the way the lifter works. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of my green. Just a little bit of green on the edges. This is obviously I'm coloring a little bit faster than I normally would have. But you get the idea. And then we're going to add, do a green. Oh, this is actually dark succulent. And I'm going to do that for the stem. And I'll just leave those little lines. I'm gonna, I think that's the leaf right there. I'm not sure. There we go. And uh, put those. Love my blends. It's always fun using those. And they're fast and they're so forgiving. Um, I just sort of keep these. I just, you know, keep it next to my workspace. Okay. And then we, um, we're going to put this on. And... I'm going to give that a good bone folding because it's, you know, it's sort of folded back on itself. There we go. And now, uh, oh, I love those little acorns. Excuse me. I hate to cover those up. I'm going to use my, my Seal Plus. That's the dark one, the darker blue one. 
and uh, it was a brand new one. I think here we go. We don't need a brand new one. I'm going to just put a little very lightly, very lightly with the seal plus because you don't want it to tear the paper. Just but I really love it. But I usually am going too fast. That's my problem. But um, there we are. You want to have equal space right there and there. And you see now I have that um, all finished up. I'm going to add a little bit of Wink Costello. So sorry. And you could, on the inside, you, you know, you would want to write right here or stamp something right there. And there we have our, and if you wanted to stamp your envelope, I mean, color your envelope, you could. And there is our first card. So sorry you're sick. So sorry I missed you or whatever it happens to be. Okay, next. Uh, oh, I forgot the, uh, oh, I forgot the uh, embellishments on there. How can we do that? Oh, we, really, we can't do that. We, I love these, this little tiny package of rustic. You know, we had some last year that were not rustic, but they were metal. There are three kinds of metal. We still have them. And um, I don't know. These are just even better than those. That was the bigger package. And um, we have different sizes of these. I think I'll put a small one right down there. Whoops. There's that little tacky stuff. I need to... I keep saying that I need to... Go look for, I don't know where I have my um, my refills. We, this screws off, and uh, uh, and you can put a new refill in there. It doesn't need it yet. I'm not quite there. But um, I do, I don't know where it is. Um, I had a box of them at my old house, and when we moved, I have no idea where they are. So I may have to order some more. Okay, that's that. Okay, let's do the next one. We're going to do these sweet mallard ducks. Oh, I just love my, that was one thing about moving. I, we had some ducks that came to our, to nest every single year at our house. And, um, um, actually this year I, we weren't there and they weren't, I didn't see her either with her nest, but she had been there for three years and, um, I just loved following them. Some of you maybe have seen my pictures on Facebook over the years her little ducklings and her eggs then as they hatched and then she would scamper off to the ponds um so i have a soft spot okay this is what i came up with these are cards that stand up like this you can put them on a mantle or a dresser or whatever you want and um, they're easy so this is um you've seen me do these before i actually keep a copy of this is a card I did uh, two years ago, and um, during celebration, during winter celebration, I did this one in Florida. I really like this card, but I always copy the measurements. I, you know, I just think it's a great card, and so I cased it. I copied and shared it, and that's what I'm doing. This is what I came up with, and now I'm going to show you how I did that. And I struggled a little bit. At first, when I was trying to make this, I went like, okay, maybe I'll do a, I'll mask a circle. I, so I did that. And uh, let's see what else I did here. Oh, there's another one I did. It wasn't, didn't love it. Didn't love that one either. Didn't like this one. And then I came up with something that I did love. And I used this fabulous set of called watercolor shapes. Oh my goodness. It's in the annual catalog. It's been in the catalog two years now. I'm not sure what page because I didn't mark it, but it's a it's a photopolymer set, so it's probably, you know, $18. It's one of those. It has all these different shapes and it gives it a watercolor look. And I'm going to show you what that's like. So I'll bring in my, I'll just do a couple just to show you real fast. And um, it's really a great set. And that number, if you want it, is 156968. Um, and it has all that shading built right into it. Um, for example, now, let's see once, where is my ink? Hmm. My ink is mint macaron. Let's see, where, where would we have put the ink? And, hmm, don't know. Let me see what's here. I double checked it and I knew I had it. 
Maybe I put it away. I will go get it. It's right across the room here. I'm just moving to my pink pad and I'm sure the other pad is right here in front of me, but we just don't know where it is. So here's the mint macaron, it's an old pad. And um, you can stamp it up and there's one. And there it is, second generation. Isn't that neat? Here's another one. Rectangle. Whoops. Rectangle. Second generation right there, stamped off. Isn't that a great set? Well, this is what I decided. I had to make 21 of these cards and I couldn't figure it out. I thought, what am I gonna do? I bet, and this seemed to be just perfect. So that's what I did. I, I sort of like, that one's a little bit too dark. That one's not quite, it's it's pretty good. Let's, let's try it again and see if we can get a difference. This one I'm gonna go, okay, there's one. I'm gonna just hold it a little longer. That's a little darker. That one's good, I think. And, um, and then, we have our, our duck, our two ducks, two little mallards, and we will bring in our black ink and ink those up. And down we go, like that. We'll ink it up and we'll do the darker one too, we might as well, right? Okay, there we go. Which do you like better? Do you like the dark or the light? And, uh, I think maybe if I remember, we will just do the um, envelope right this moment. And we'll do that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set that right there and find, oh, before I do anything more, I'm going to stamp. One more thing, and then we're going to do some, we're going to be stamping on this. Um, this is the designer paper. This is the one, the free paper that comes with in celebration, which has birds on one side. And I love this, this wash on the other side. It's two inches by five and a fourth. I'll just say that right there. And they're all slightly different. They're just gorgeous. And we're going to stamp on the bottom of that. And we're going to stamp the words, I miss you. I always think about this with my mom because sometimes I don't get to see her for a few months. And then I can send her a card. And this one looks just perfect for that. I think she would enjoy it. She always enjoys She's 95, almost 96. And she loves getting mail. Of course, we all love getting mail, don't we? Um, okay, now we're going to make the card. Well, I am going to punch that out. And I'm going to use my two and a half inch, no, two and a fourth inch circle punch. If you don't have a circle punch, you can um, use some, we have dies also. This is gonna just punch that one. We're gonna punch both of them. Which one did you like better, the dark or the light? Dark or the light? Now I better look at my comments and see what you say. The light, light, everyone's saying light, light. Jeannie Williams. Hey, Jeannie. Good to see you this morning. Hope you're doing good. Yeah. Kathy from Oregon. Hey, good to see you, Kathy. Um, oh, I'm so glad you girls are tuning in. Okay. Light. I think light too. Isn't that a neat look? Now you could sponge that with your sponging brushes, but that watercolor shapes is a nice set. It's a just a just sort of what we need, I think. I'm gonna, if we have time, I'll do another card for you, real simple, like a five minute card. Um, okay, but this one's gonna just take a little bit more time. So we're going to start with, now get your camera ready if you want to um, do a screenshot of this. We are going to start with a navy piece of cardstock. And it's just a basic measurement, five and a half by eight and a half. But we're not going to score it normally like we do at four and a quarter. So I'm going to bring in my, oh, my Simply scoreboard. Now, I'm going to have to I'm going to move this 
out of the way. I love our scoreboard. I love having the little markers that we have. Um, that's just such a cool thing. Um, okay, now we're going to make this is we're going to score this and I already marked it. We're, and I'll have this all typed up at the after this. I, I'll photograph the cards and then I have will type up the directions too. And if you're watching later on YouTube, it's always under that little arrow. You're going to click on that arrow below the picture and that's where the directions will be. So we have two inches, three and an eighth. Five and three eighths, six and a half. Now, ladies, you can always now if if you if you want if you don't want to do the three eighths and all that, you can turn this around. This is exactly the same. You could do this one, this one, turn it, and then do it to, to like that. It's exactly the same way. And um, okay, so. This is a great thing if you're making Christmas cards, if you're doing a swap. Um, I did 21 of these. Actually, I did I just did more than 21 of these cards because I wanted extra so that I can send to people as thank you gifts. So that goes right there. Now, this is how it folds like this. We're going to fold it in, and then this folds back on itself like that. This is one of my all-time favorite folds because it's easy. And it's a, it has a, quite a wow. Now you could, you could have it like this, or you could have it like that. You can have it open either way. Okay, let's build it now. So this is going to go next. And I love that little bird side too, but I'm, this watercolor wash side is, uh, it's almost, you know, remember the, on the horizon paper well it's a lot like that you get two sheets of it now I have um, some embossing folders here well first of all I'm going to show you something else I want to um, we're going to use a uh, we're going to put this little stitched label on and that is from this set of circles and and squares and labels and it's called stylish shapes. I have two sets of those because I do I use that a lot for classes so um, that's why I have two of those. Okay now I thought oh this would be fun with some solid I wanted to use I didn't have a I, I didn't have paper on the side you could use designer paper that would be really pretty but I wanted to use embossing folders. So I cut two pieces of mint one and three fourths by five and a fourth. So on this one for today, I embossed it with the stripes and splatters. And this one, do you see that one? I did splashes. So that one, these are both little, the little minis. They go in the big machine or the little machine, so you get two in a package. So that's the one that looks like water splatters. But this one looks like ripples to me, so that's why I wanted to use it. But And then I also tried this one. I tried the uh, ruffle, the cascading ruffle one, too. And that one was... Uh, it's a, I really like it, actually. I didn't think I was going to like it in the catalog when I saw it. But this is what it looks like. It looks it looks like cas it looks like cascading ruffles. And it could be waves. It could be water. I really like that look, too. So, anyway, um, I tried that. But I'm going to do this one. That's what I decided on. I'm just going to, first, so I don't forget this, I'm going to just put this on right here. because we're going to put that circle over it. Okay, and now we're going to put our... I think my tripod is falling there. Um, put some adhesive on there. And, we're going to, and when I do this, I like to just open it up a little bit and and start at the long edge like that. It tends to... it's a little easier... when you're trying to measure up or line up a long edge of something rather than the short one. So I'm going to do the long edge right there. 
And there is our card. It's almost done. And we have a piece of white for the back. And then this one is going to be two inches. It's the same as the front. Two by five and a fourth. And that one just goes on the back. It's not a very big writing space, but that's okay. We don't need to write a lot, do we? Most of the time we're like, oh, oh it's a big space. But there's just enough for, a, you know, a little sentiment. Okay, and now we're almost done, and we're going to use... Our two ducks, we have the light, the light one and the dark one. I think we're going to use the light. I think that's what the vote was. And I have a, uh, oh, I was going to ask you, we could have done this one too. I didn't even think about that. We could have, but it's a little late now because I already have that on with my stamping seal. Um, well, I think that mint is probably a better choice. I love this combination of mint and navy together. It's been one of my favorites. So... Uh, it's a go-to. It's real easy to work with. You can't go wrong with it. mint and navy together. This is the stitch circle that I have the navy in right there. And we're just going to put it on like that. And I don't think it needs to go. I'm not going to pop it up because there's enough, enough depth. I'm just using my seal plus because I don't want it to come off. And I'm just going to put it, close it up like that. And there is my card, and we need some navy blue embellishments. Oh, my goodness, we've hardly ever had navy blue, um, and I've gone through a lot. I've had, this one has petal pink and navy blue and balmy blue, and I'm not sure what that is, if that's melon mambo or if that's soft succulent. Not soft, that's soft, that's mint. That You could use that, too, on the card. Um, what is that one? Sweet sorbet, and then... That one is evergreen. So we have all these colors, and we're going to use the navy blue, and just perfect for these. Love this set. They're called um, Solid Faceted Gems. And, oh, I think we'll put a big one on. It doesn't make, we could we'll put one right there. And I keep, I've got all kinds of packages started because I've used all, you know, when I'm doing swaps, I, I might use all the pink or whatever, and then I open up another package. So I have them all stuck in there. And there is our card. And that was pretty fast for a phone fold, wasn't it? And here's our envelope. And now you can set, you can set that up just like that. And you could stamp something there if you want, or just write it, whatever you want. And... We could add a little wink of Stella to the ducks. Just a little bit of wink of Stella. I think these ducks, this is really, Stamping Up has done a lot of work by sketching these for us. And um, I think that's really a great set. I really like it a lot. And at first I wasn't sure. Um, but anyway, I want to show you another Literally, I did these this morning in about five minutes each. So that's just a plain note card done with that watercolor thing. Here's another one. This one, I had all kinds of marks on it. But this is so fast. Watch how it's done. We will get that watercolor shapes out again. Here it is. We're going to use this large rectangle. And I'm going to bring in my grid paper and I've got just a plain piece of three and three fours by five and let's see when's here oh I know what I was going to do we got things now where did that mint go again <laughs> there it is oh it's behind my computer that's where it was um okay I'm going to stamp that up I'm going to ink it up and it's, I think it's too dark, so I want to just lightly stamp it off. And then I'm going to stamp it like this. Okay, pretty good, I think. And now we'll do the same thing again. Ink it up. Stamp. And I'm going to, again, ink, stamp off. And this time, I'm, do you see how I'm lining it up on the grid paper? I want it to be nice and straight. Okay. 
there we have it. And this is about as simple as it gets. This wonderful, wonderful world is a good uh, red rubber stamp, cling stamp, has an iris. I don't know what this flower is. If anyone knows, tell me. Um, then it has a rose. It's just really pretty, but we're going to use a stamp that I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, I don't know. I, I love flowers. And uh, I don't know what happened to my, there's my other, there's the other ink. No, I can't find my navy blue, but um, I will just use the black. We'll just do black instead because I have it right here. My ink. So we'll just ink up the black. And anytime when you have stems, what I didn't do is you want to don't press hard on stems at the bottom of the stem. So when I'm going to do this, I'm just going to, I'm going to put it off here to the side. And I'm just going to press on the flower bulb and not really touch the stem at all. And there, that's perfect. Um, except it's in black and I wanted it in navy, but it's okay. We can just switch it up. And then, um, hmm, let's see what we need. To, we need some words. I think we can do I miss you again. We can do that right, right there. And there is our card. All we have to do is layer it up on our mat. I'm going to change that out to black when I'm done with this video. And there's our, we've got a white card on this one, on the other one. I put a, um, the other one was a, um, a mint card with navy. So navy embellishments, but it doesn't make any difference. We can change it out, but easy, easy card. So that watercolor wishes is really a super set for you um, and me. I really like it. It's a, just easy. Okay. Hey, Munch. Good to see you this morning. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. And let's. I will get my little notes together and type that up. Um, I am going to the chiropractor after this. So after I do that, I'll... Um, Get that all typed up and put on Facebook, on YouTube. Turn your, close your eyes, and here we go. So, there we are. Glad to see you, Munch. I've got a couple, I've got some get well cards right back here from some of you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the hearts. And, oh, thanks, Jan. Love, I'm glad you could watch. Oh, no, no problem being late. You know, you can always go back and watch the replay. Oh, I'm so glad you love them, Martina. And uh, they're really fun, not hard. I'm not about hard. I like to do, I need, I like to do a lot of cards. And I, I like, because I have to send a lot of things for thank you gifts. And I need to get a lot done. I, I don't spend a lot. Of, I like fun folds, but I don't like complicated fun folds. I like easy ones. And those are both really, really easy ones. All righty. Oh, hey, Rachel. Good to see you this morning. Glad, yes, you can definitely watch the replay. And um, I did leave that package by the door for you on the inside of the door. Um, anyway, okay, I will plan to see you next week. I'm thinking one of these weeks, I need to do some techniques with you. I haven't done that for a while. And I have a really good, um, some good watercolor and some um, re-inking kind of things that I've been thinking about. So um, I, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I am feeling better. Um, I'm really glad though. I really, what really wanted to go to Wisconsin and, and Terry just kept saying I wasn't up to it and I definitely wasn't. And um, so I'm really glad he, he was pretty firm about that. Um, I mean, I could have gone if I, be, you know, but he said, why don't I wait? So I think I'm going to wait. But then I have my surgery in a couple of weeks too. So anyway, I just need to get past this COVID. I mean, I'm not, not contagious anymore or anything like that. Then I got, uh, then I got 
then I had um, not pneumonia. I didn't have, I had lung X-rays. I did not have pneumonia. I just had bronchitis. And uh, but then the antibiotics have been knocking that out. They've also knocked out all the good bacteria in my body too. So oh goodness, all kinds of things I need here. Um, maybe we will do. Okay, we can try to do some watercolor things next. Um, Okay, ladies, I will see you next week, and I hope you have a great time crafting this week. I've been getting lots of cards done because I haven't had any classes now for three weeks. So I do have class next week, uh, Cookies, Cards, and Coffee. So that'll be my first class back, the first class in all of July. And then July is almost over with. And then I do have a stamping bingo at the very end, too. So... Alrighty, thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.